Yeah, and obviously that main event, see where that goes. I mean, can we put this thing to bed? That is going to be uh, – now I'm really wondering what's going to happen in that match, but I, I still got Adam Cole stabbing MJF in the back. I've still got it. Well, they got the belt. Yeah, something's got to happen. I mean, unless it's just a classic match, <laughs> and then it's like, eh, whatever. Could you imagine that, though? That would be lame. Would it, though? Because, uh, for me, because yeah. here's the thing that these – the the issue i don't think AEW was planning on creating this issue but when they put these together and just have to give everybody the background on the story between these two guys they had wrestled a time limit draw mjf is the biggest heel in the company everybody hates him and adam cole just barely they had a two count going when the the bell rang to for the draw mm-hmm. and he said i'm not wrestling adam cole again well they did an eliminator tournament for the war, like a random eliminator tournament for the world tag team championship. So they just had put two people together, two people together, two people together, had a tournament and they paired Adam Cole and MJF. Well, they got to the final and as they were progressing towards that, they became really good friends mm-hmm. and, and MJF, who's a big loner, you know, that everybody hates. Well, now he has a friend. And they have they have acted this so well, and is the the vignettes that they've done and all the promos have been top of the line, and you just feel like you know that a lighter side of MJF has come out, and and you know it's kind of cool to see that anyway. Is but it, but I, I, as a as a performer to be able to run both sides of the gamut is beautiful. Love that. I just like the heel hardcore, but he's still like kind of a jerk. Yeah, you know, but it's yeah. So I just say that that's a testament. And hats off to him for you know how he pulls it off. But imagine, yeah, something's got to culminate tonight. Yeah, and you know, I and I've always said that it's harder, and I and I think wrestlers will say this as well that I think it's harder to be a babyface than it is to be a heel because as a heel you can say whatever you want, mm-hmm. you can do whatever you want. If you think of a nasty, mean thing to say or a horrible thing to do to somebody, you just do it. You know, you just do it. Yeah. But as a baby face, you kind of got to play it straight. You know, you have to be the honorable, natural. Oh my God, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm the best, and you know, I respect my opponent, and and all that kind of stuff. And that's hard to do when you really want to beat the crap out of somebody, right? You know, right. so restraining yourself, and the, you know, when you look at a guy like John Cena who was able to do it his whole career. And and keep the character alive, and of course you got the Cena sucks chance and all that stuff. Uh, you know those that that I think is much more difficult than just going out and cutting it loose. I'm, would you for, would you agree? You're, with that? you're saying uh, being a baby face versus a heel. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I would think so because I mean it's that character aspect, right? Is well, some for some people like they don't like stretch too far outside of who they are, right? Right. So that being just who you are is good, but yeah, the heel I think would be funner. You know, because you get to break some rules and do some stuff and get to, and like, we all hate criticism, but if that was your job to get criticism and get booed, um, you could take it more. It's probably good for your mental health. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you can kind of let it all out. Yeah, yeah. You know, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's a uh, yeah, good observation, Mark. You're doing a good job today, Mark. Well, thanks. You are too, David. I want to, I'm next week, there's going to be trees behind me, all kinds of stuff happening. <laughs> Fair enough.